Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome back to some more Super Fantasy Kingdom. Uh, so you might notice I'm a little bit further ahead than last time. Uh, at first it was just because I was playing this while eating a donut on stream and, you know, didn't want to record that. And then I lost a whole episode, so, uh, yeah, it's fine. We're just gonna dive into this all the same. Ooh, this is a really good spot for a tat. Mm, do we want to put the tavern there? It's a really good spot because it's right next to a bunch of berries. However, I don't need those resources as much. Travel time is kind of important here. Well, the forester, the forester can just, trees we're gonna have to walk for. Quarry, quarry goes here, tavern goes here. And forester. You know, honestly, mm, no. We'll put the lumber yard there. Okay, so beyond that, we also have just enough meta progression that we can afford that. But we don't have enough that I can get the next one. I need three more stone. So we're going to need one berry. Actually, no. We're going to need just all lumber. Speaking of lumber, we've got the... We've got this thing, which gets me a whole bunch. Which means I can get another house. I need to remember to probably put a house here when I get the chance. Uh, but at least I've got multiple people now. I guess we'll get a couple more berries. That's fine. And speed this up a little bit. I've I've learned some things. I, I almost never use sequential videos, but I really liked the previous one. Whoa, what is this? Oh, no, that's just the top of her house. Which is on fire, but has like a random paper scroll, which is a little confusing. So first and foremost, I'm going to go with the crossbowmen. I don't actually like them that much. But as far as starting units go, I like them a lot more than the knight. Problem with the knight is they're only useful if an enemy gets close. And that's not strictly the most helpful thing. Okay, let's slow down on the wood because we need some stone. Oh, I guess I have a spare person. I have them getting food for a bit. Yeah, we'll keep that going for a moment. We're going to need more. Let's see. I don't know if this is the most, most productive first day, but it's reasonably productive. We've got a... We've got two houses, four people, and all of our basic, basic resource gathering structures. The other reason why I want the crossbowmen is I can almost guarantee to have them out and eat some food immediately. Uh, let's see, Leech Mother Jin. I could also re-roll. I'm gonna re-roll, Rune Scribe. There is also Death Priest who is really good. The problem is the rune, rune, no, death, death priest is better if I can get him up. The problem is the enemies that are resistant. Uh, however, I have unlocked a new skill on this one. I figured out when the witch shows up, by the way. Ooh, raises one zombie every 0.8 seconds, revives a dead every 25 seconds. I see. Yeah, so we want to, we want to get my death boy up a little bit more. Because I had a, a very good run using him last time. Let's upgrade our storage. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we lose our gold. That's okay. Where are the enemies? There they are. We also have the ability to challenge a mid-boss with 250 health. I think I'm going to wait until the goblin boss day for that to show up. Otherwise, we run the risk of potentially killing ourselves. Okay, let's get this sawmill. We're not ready to trigger it yet. The other thing I could do is actually just beeline a whole bunch of wood to the point where I have 16 wood stocked to get that last house. That's not the worst idea. I'm actually going to get the forester. Reason why. Grab that money. Reason why is if we can grow a bunch of trees directly next to... Wow, the crossbowmen... Oh, got a lot of kills. Death Priest did more damage. If I can get that extra house, we get a lot more potential workers. And if we can get the trees to grow right next to our setup, that means my lumberjacks don't have to walk forever and a day away. I kind of wish people like the Forester didn't actually require... 
my population to be invested there. It's fine. Let's see. It's fine-ish. Okay, these guys these guys will hang on at least for a little while. And hopefully between the crossbowmen and the um and my main knight. The fact that these guys don't take any damage specifically from my death priest won't be too much of a problem. One more day. I mean we're holding. And it doesn't look like we have any event resources. Still don't know who that character is. They're not the witch. A lot of people were telling me that she's the witch. But she ain't. Okay, just a smidge more. Oh, and would you look at those trees. Okay, so let's... Nick's down to just one. We gotta start getting some lumber here. There it is. Okay, so now we get our next worker. Okay. I think we might have maybe too many idle people. What do we get next? I could get the farm for once, which would give me the windmill and the brewery. I haven't looked into that too much. I think we still want the gold, though. Okay. Yeah, this this definitely is much, much faster. I wonder if he has nothing to do at the moment. Ooh. Ooh. That got close. It's fine. My death death priest should do more damage. After today. Yeah, I'll definitely have to look into getting them better eats. Okay, so we've got the old old merchant man. Two planks for two gold. Yep, that's worth it. And I'm just going to immediately spend it here. Maybe I shouldn't have. Okay, let's get rid of that. We don't even need any lumber. Yeah, the problem is I'm going to need... Oof. Nine stone. I should not have spent that gold. Okay. Where are my people at? I mean, maybe I'll get lucky, but I think it's just going to be the end of the day. Okay, tech hits a small area or attacks faster. You know what? I'm going to try that. Because him doing extra damage might not be the worst idea. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I, I could have screwed my routing on this one a little bit. Now, nah, there's the hero. I could have gotten a second death priest. I didn't know you could even do that. Yeah. So, I need to have three gold bars by this day. And it's fine. I might just see if I can level up the Death Priest one more time.
Because if it's six bars, I just want to see how much more effective he is. Six bars, yeah? Alright. So let's take a look. Three zombies. And we should do 2.5 seconds. Ah, there goes my archer. Still. I'm not hating that. So what would I even get next? Probably the hunter. Okay, so let's take a look at eating. Okay, two more days. Well, who knows? Also, we need... At least some of this. Okay. I don't know what all of my people are up to. Slightly unfortunate. All right, there's the Goblin King. One major upgrade that I would love to see for this, but might be... Oh my god. We ruined him. Uh, High-level Death Priest is pretty good. So bonus damage for mages with shields would be good. Another max hit. Uh, let's see. Hungry, hungry shield might actually be really good. So I'm going to snag that. Let's go over here and challenge the mini boss. Oh, that was fast. Okay, farm. Resource outposts generate one resource every morning. Oh. That's pretty good. What's my glory up to? 13. Okay, it looks like we have meat now. Yeah, so I... Oh. Not the worst idea. Nix those. So I guess next order of business would be upgrade my crossbowman twice. Probably. Damage is absurd. Okay. Oh, 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 wow. Okay, so apparently meat is big. They, uh, they ate well to... Or they ate well right there. Okay, farm one resource per day. We're up to 16. I need 23. Yeah, 23 and then 25. We might make it here. We are down a unit, which is a bit of a downer. But maybe it's fine. Removes thickets. Oh. Okay, well, we don't need any more berries for the moment. We've got a bunch of gold that needs to be processed. And I've got one person that needs to do something. I guess he did actually kill the deer. All right, good to know. What does he require? A house. So we might need a very specific building for that. Let's consider. It looks like can't do anything with a farm. There we go. 
I don't don't want my death priest to take any damage. If I can avoid it. So not their favorite meat. Still, that's worth a lot. And here we go. We have the witch. Okay, so... 50, 50 coins to boost the crossbowman. Well, that's unfortunate. Give cover. Plus 20 shields for the unit in front. Oh, but it only counts for a unit with shields, maybe? Hard to say. Okay, so what else can we get? Swap those, because now we've got more than enough gold bars. So at this point, my main goal is just to hang on as long as possible. Oh, what are we up to? 22. Oh, one more. Because then I could go up there. At least we've got the horde of Zombonis to just do whatever. We seem to be uh, pretty effective. Damn. Okay, take the hit. Yeah, I can just hot swap my hero around as need be. All right, looks like we're going to make some progress here. All right. I guess we should probably get the Mason down next. Pause. All right, so I should have 30. Oh, we have a new meta progression starting point. Kill monsters with holy damage. And then we also have two meta progression points if I want to invest in them. It's almost tempting to go for that starting glory, but honestly, I think I might need the gold. Okay. Upgrade this one. Okay, we don't have many thickets left. I'm not even sure if I should be really investing too hard in into that at the moment. Let's boost productivity. Oh, it's an AoE. That's less good. Also, this is spooky looking. Also, before we go anywhere, I should probably snag that. That gets me another. Doesn't look like I have any other roads. If I can survive one more day, we get another. I'm not betting on it. This looks kind of spicy dicey. Plus side. We can upgrade the crossbowman. Oop. No, we got it. I'm not dead yet. Okay, eating. Alright, so he gets a big old damage boost. Yeah, day 11. This is a far cry from where I was last time. We're up to 39. So we now have this. 
Upper the fisherman to start with one more fish in future runs. Yeah, that seems pretty good. What do we grab next? Oh, let's see, more carriers might not be a bad idea, but we straight up can't. So I guess go for the farm. Oh yeah, especially because we're out of that. Or I'm going to need the geologist. Because I think we were running out of gold rocks to even mine. Oh, I have somebody that is not doing a thing. Snag those. Nope. I don't have enough money yet. I need a hundred. Starting with a fish seems like a really good idea. Okay, upgrade that geologist. Right. How does the geologist work again? Oh, press G. That's how it works. G for geologist. Okay, we've survived yet another day. Oh yeah, we also should check for X marks the spot. Because I think those events just go by on a daily basis. Didn't check for food. Probably fine. Oh, develop into a stone mo- Oh. I was wondering about that. I guess there's her answer. Okay. Yeah, there's only so much I can do. Well, here's the question. 40... Oh. 49. 111. Yeah, so... Starting with that one extra glory, it won't let me. Oh. It's not an option. Let's see what else can we get? Another geologist. Looks like it's a start with a geologist situation. Which actually seems really good. Yeah, they both need houses. Oh, no. Go to the building. 32. We need five gold bars for that. So why don't we why don't we just open the gold for business? Speaking of gold. Yeah, grab this all of this cash money. There was one all the way back there. I think I'm still going to go for that extra bit of ore. If I can't have that glory, then yeah. Yeah, so note to self, potentially get those mines developed sooner. All right, Death Priest is gaining exponentially too. We might actually just survive here. I guess I'm just going to turn everything on. Okay. Actually, 
no, I shouldn't I shouldn't be smelting any of this gold. Because we specifically need the stone mine. It looks like the geologist will just find things for me. Which is kind of nice. Right. Can't forget. There it is. I need that stone for things. I just one of those. I mean, it's fine. But yeah, I need five for the stone mine. Oh, can this be upgraded? Cannot find a free path to the mine. Me? Okay, we're miraculously still alive and still kicking and still kicking a surprising amount of butt. Okay, so the archer gets even stronger. He does not, it's fine. It lumbers in a good spot. Yeah, do we want to... Oh, provoking is not possible today. It must be a boss of some variety. In that case, if I don't have any money, I'm going to put it into this. I don't exactly know how the fish are going to work. Alright, so what is this? Ooh, you look terrifying. All right, demon spider. Well, here's the nice part. Mm -hmm. It's dead. That was very fast and it did not get slowed down by my grabby hands. Uh, let's see, reduce cooldown? Yeah. Oh, we got it. We can now develop into a stone mine. We're at 75. port to catch fish. Oh. Okay, what else can we do? Yeah, still cannot provoke. Do I have enough wheat? Oh. Take a look at him. Bless, bless your enemies. Yeah, all right. I don't know how useful that's going to be in the moment, but it is a character we now have. Oh, I won. I actually beat what's currently available in the game. All right, cool. I, it's a bit of a shame I lost the episode in between, but on the flip side, we're in a good spot. I think I'm just going to load in. I want to just take a look at what carries over. So, all of this is. This entire map is done. Quest seems to be about the same. I don't know about the one fish unlocked. Do I start with the fish? Do, do I just have one? I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Hard to say. Oh, walls. Boost all unit stats. You haven't exactly been paying enough attention to some of these things, because I bet those walls would have actually been really good. One way or another, really enjoying this game, really looking forward to playing more. Um, and I had a good time with what's in the demo, which is just over two hours of content, two and a half, give or take. Uh, so once again, if you guys are interested in playing more, uh, playing this yourselves, trying out different unit combina combinations, seeing what their abilities are, potentially actually maxing some of them out, because I could have potentially maxed out the crossbowmen had it been a little bit faster and not run out of resources too early. Um, but, eh, for now. 
If you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. Well, with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.